Praise the Lord. Yeah. I came to give glory to God for what God did in my life last week, Friday. The whole of the problem started in 2004. I was on my way traveling to Ivory Coast. But each time I'm traveling to Ivory Coast, I always had a stop in Lagos where I will rest for one or two days before I continue. But when I came to Lagos, I was resting in my hotel at Ikeja. I was going out to buy something when I met an old friend of mine. He invited me to his hotel that I should come and meet him at Excellence Hotel in Ogba. In getting to Excellence Hotel in Ogba, both of us were sitting down inside this room. As we were talking together, he shouted my heart. I was looking at him and he shouted my heart again. And before I knew what was happening, he slumped. I rushed down from the upstairs in the hotel room to go to the reception to invite them so that they would come and see what is happening. Before we get there, the boy was already dead. And they said I should go and make a statement at Iriaji police station in Ogba. In getting to Iriaji police station, three days after I was transferred to state CID at Yaba, from state CID I was taken to high court. The trial went for two years, and after the two years, they found me guilty as a result of an autopsy test they brought from abroad. When they brought that autopsy test, the autopsy test said that the boy was strangled to death. So based on that evidence, I was condemned. I was condemned in 2006. I was taken to maximum prison in Kirikiri, where I was, as at last year, I already spent 10 years and in the maximum prison since I was condemned. So on a faithful day, I was very tired because the GO used to come there once in a while to come and pray for the prisoners. So on that faithful day, I told the yard master, I said, I want to meet with the GO of this ministry. He said, it's not possible. I said, I want to. So by the grace of God, he just fell a lot. He said, okay, come. As they are going out, I will allow you to talk to him. So by the grace of God, I encountered the GO last day. And the GO told me, I told the GO, I said, sir, what I am suffering for, I have no hand in it. And I want God to do something for me. And the GO just said, in as much as you know you have not done anything wrong, before this time next year, you will be sharing testimony in my presence. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the mighty Jesus. I was, on that faithful day, I was very, very angry when I was going back to my room because I felt like he would have asked me to kneel down, pray for me, do one or two things, touch me around, anoint me with oil. So I went back to my room. But the yard master says, this is a man who speaks and he comes to pass. I should keep faith. I said, okay, well, that is it. And last two weeks, Wednesday, by the grace of God, I was sitting down in my cell because I am, I am in CC3. That is condemned criminal cell 3. And in the afternoon, they came to call me about 12 o'clock that I need to go to court. I told them I have been condemned. I have no pending case. A condemned criminal does not have a pending case. So I cannot go. What am I going to do in court? They said my case has been recalled, that I am going to court. And please, let me explain this to you, that yes, there is a God in this ministry. Hallelujah! And do you know last week, last week, the sister came back all the way from United States and told them in the police station that is a state CID that the case by which they condemned somebody many years ago that she's not sure that man is guilty she said because the autopsy test that was carried out in the US proved that the boy died of heart attack and that the brother has been having that heart problem all through when he was in US but in majority of the occasions doctors has been able to rescue him so now the funny issue is that there is a new DCP in state CID so the DCP now said there is nothing he can do. That the best place for her to go is the high court that condemns me. So she went to the high court at Ikeja. The judge who condemned me is no longer in that court as well. A new judge is there. But at the end of the day, they revisited the case file. They invited me to court. And it took them 11 days to retry the case. And the God of this ministry said, I am hereby discharged and acquitted. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that was how on Friday, about 2.30 on Friday, the judge apologized to me for the years I've spent and said I should go in peace. So because the GO said I should share the testimony, I said I would take the pains to wait in Lagos and share the testimony 
so I can go in peace. Glory be to the God of this ministry.